shall we begin? Hello and welcome to another video. Love is in the air is going on right now, and there are loads of changes as of 2017. We've got some new toys, level 16 and up can queue for the seasonal boss battle, and the drop rate of Lovely Charms has been nerfed big time. I shouldn't be making this video since almost all of the Lovely Charm farming spots from 2016 got nerfed, except for this one. And I have personally been averaging over 1600 charms per hour here myself, so it's time to share my secret farm location for you guys to farm the hell out of it before Blizzard notices and nerfs it too. Before we begin, let's go over some details. First, this requires a seasonal event, Love is in the Air, during which you can farm these items called Lovely Charms, which are automatically looted when you kill mobs that grant experience. With a few clicks, you can then shuffle these charms into Lovely Charm bracelets, and again into Love Tokens, which are a currency for various items found on the Lovely Merchant, located in your capital city. With these tokens, you can buy toys, pets, and a mount. If you prefer to make a load of money from this event instead, I highly suggest the Swift Lovebird mount and maybe the Lovebird hatchling pet. The Swift Lovebird can sell for anywhere between 40 and 60,000 gold, and I recently sold one for over 80,000 on my server. Prices will vary of course, but tend to go up a few months after the event is over. Secondly, before you can even begin farming, you will need to grab a lovely charm collector's kit from this guy. He's found right next to the lovely merchants. Thirdly, and most importantly, you will only receive charms from killing mobs that give you experience. For the purpose of this video, I'm using a level 100 monk with the experience gains paused. If you'd like to know how to pause experience gains, be sure to check out my guide video for that. For the location of this farm, you'll want to head over to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms and go to the Mogushan Palace instance. Make sure the dungeon is set to heroic before you go inside. Once inside, defeat the first boss, loot if you want to, and then head down the secret stairs. Once you get to this point, you'll notice there are bats flying above you. And those are what we're going to be farming. They spawn endlessly so you can spend hours here. They don't drop loot, but they do grant experience at level 100 and thus drop lovely charms. You should be able to farm up over 1600 charms per hour solo. If you have friends who need charms, you can group with them as well. They will gain lovely charms from your kills. You can also multi-box this farm and make 1600 charms per level 100 monk you bring here. Can you imagine the charms gained and the items you could purchase with that? How many mounts and pets could you purchase for later resale? Think about that. After you've collected your charms or filled your bags, you can head back to the lovely merchant to unload them for your much deserved loot. Open the merchant window that shows the items then spam the macro listed below to convert charms into currency to purchase your items. Click that thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for future content notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.